Hey guys, it's Brad. I am back after a very long break. I know it's been a while, and there's lots of reasons for it. Uh, as you can see, I am now in a totally different place. That's right, uh, your boy finally got out of Bushwick. I have moved in with my wonderful girlfriend, um, and we have a nice big bookshelf to display all our books and all of my VHS tapes, um, and that is the subject of today's video. It's what we did last time. Uh, we opened up some sealed VHS tapes that nobody had been into before. This time, I like one up that. I recently, on eBay, you know, I've been on eBay a lot more because that's like the best place I'm finding to uh, look for the VHS tapes that I want, especially like the specific ones I want are the sealed stuff are the taped from TV stuff. You don't find a lot of that stuff in uh, the thrift stores around here. So if you want the very interesting stuff, you kind of got to go online for it. But eBay, it's uh, proven good. Um, what I have today, this literally just came in this morning. I've been excited about this because I won this auction that it felt like nobody else had seen. Because this is stuff that can go for not like the most expensive, but some people are really into it. And so if they see it, you know, they'll bid crazy on it. But I guess I just was the only one that saw this. It was 10 sealed Disney VHS tapes. Those are my favorites. And the giant clamshells, they always have fun, good insert ads in it and like stickers and um, promotional material. I always love that stuff. And let me show you this massive box. Boom. It just came in. We're talking like at 9 a.m. this morning. And I promised myself if I did this five hour online training for my job, I would do this and open it up on screen. So this is going to be the first time I'm opening these. I hope this is exciting and that there's actually stuff in this because I have no idea. Usually the Disney clamshells are good for having stuff inside of them, but I have no idea. So I don't know if it's going to be good at all. Uh, cross your fingers. That's not crossed. It's kind of crossed. Uh, did y'all enjoy WrestleMania last night before we go into this? I did. Uh, pretty much all my dreams came true. So, <clears throat> Excuse me. A much better WrestleMania than last year, which was my first WrestleMania, which ended with the just worst Roman and Brock match. All I wanted this WrestleMania was all my baby faces to win, and I don't know how we got it, but we did, and maybe half of them lose tonight, but it's okay. We got our nice WrestleMania moments, and even the people that did change, like, I was cool with it. Like, who doesn't love the Iconics? If you don't, get out of here. And they look so cool, and they're, like, Maleficent gear oh i love them samoa joe you know the, zach Ryder and kurt hawkins breaking the streak why not it's great all right enough wrestlemania talk uh we're three minutes into the video let's get to the meat let's open up this all right okay well they got it To do this. Uh, this is held together. Okay, here we go. Cool. So I'm just going to start with the first thing I see, which is Peter Pan. These are really like they're so sealed, you can still see they're not even showing up on camera that good because it's so glossy. This is the fully restored 45th limited edition anniversary of Walt Disney's masterpiece, Peter Pan. Um, you know, this is not the greatest of the Disney animated films. It's, I feel like, one that sticks around a lot culturally, as Peter Pan kind of does. Um, Tinkerbell is really, I think, the big thing, you know, that comes out of this and is remembered. Um, this had been released on VHS before. Let's see, it says on the back end... Includes exclusive The Making of Peter Pan bonus programming. Net programming never before available on video. This was released in this edition. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Usually you can find it somewhere. 
Um, I don't know if it really shows up on camera, but you can see it's got this cool gold trim on the front that is like reflective and shiny. Uh, and you can kind of see it's embossed a little with pirate ships and the cities of London. It's, just, it's, it's nice packaging, it really is. And it's not one I have on VHS at the moment. So it's one of those things. The Disney VHS tapes are not that hard to collect and they look so good. And so many of them are so famous. It's, you almost gotta have them. Why not just get a big collection of them? Um, the sticker on the front, which would lead us to figure out when this was released. It does say offers expire on 19, in 1998, so sometime around then. Um, oh, and this isn't even just this. Okay, this is actually, this is, the sticker comes off. Let's see. Open here. Use now. It is save up to $17 on General Mills, Fisher Price in savings from Disney. Let's see if we can get this off of here. And open it up and see what's in there, this little guy. All right, how do I open this without breaking it? Um, well, that's not it, Brad. That was a good face. Ooh, look at this, you can win. Oh, nice. Okay, so look, you can get money off those Fisher Price playsets. Uh, this one's kind of themed to be a pirate esque ship. Uh, the one I had as a kid, which is the best toy of all time, I still think is a Fisher Price castle. That's so cool. I still wish I had that castle. I guess it's at home somewhere, like my childhood home with my mom or dad somewhere. And it rocks. Uh, you can also save some money on. An etch a, a magna doodle, not etch a sketch. I'm sure that has a different company behind it. All right, so this is our little savings. Uh, it's over 21 years out of date, so I don't think we can save any more on it. But let's open up Mr. Pita Pan. Mm. Now that new VHS tape. It's so cool to see him. Like, there's the Walt Disney seal uh, to show that you did buy this. New. All right. We're going to try to get the sticker off in as, one as much of one piece as possible. Oh, this is an old sticker. We might just have to go. Oh, cool. That worked. We're good. Let's see what fun stuff is in here. We have the Winnie the Pooh porcelain box collection which is, it's one cute little porcelain Winnie the Pooh for every month of the year, an exclusive offer from the Disney catalog. And excuse me, my voice, you can tell, is a little shot because I was screaming for my baby faces yesterday at WrestleMania. Join Pooh Bear as he celebrates the best of every month, from the delicious taste of spring to m the mischievous magic of fall and everything in between. Each charming detail of the Winnie the Pooh porcelain box collection is sure to remind you of the charm in friendship of your pal poo open each box and take a peek you'll find each month is imprinted inside it's a year filled with pure delight 12 boxes in all for just 19.95 each that seems like a lot um your satisfaction is completely guaranteed so start your winnie the pooh porcelain box collection today by simply returning the attached reservation form each hand painted uh, little Notes about it. Each hand-painted box opens to show month. Actual size is approximately three and a half inches tall, and I suppose that is about what that is. So yeah, you know, they're cute. I'm not really a poo guy. Never have been. They're cute, but they're overpriced. So let's see what else is in here. Plenty of stuff. We have... Alright, official mail-in certificate save $10 by mail when you buy any three general meal cereals, nine ounces or larger, and one Betty Crocker participating product. Plus, Peter Pan or any eligible Disney video will work on that already. Let's take a look at some of these old packaging for general meals. Oh, the VHS tape just fell off. 
lap. Good job, Brad. Look at those tricks. French Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. All right. And then just the regular, like, survey that usually came in these VHS types. Oh, it's upside down? No, it's right side up. Okay. Here's the tape. Mmm, smell that new tape smell. Alright, and that's all that was in there. Not too much in there, actually. So let's put that away. It's a nice... It really does look nice, though. It, this gold shininess does really look nice. It's a very attractive presentation for what is only an okay movie. Alright, let's get in here. Let's see. Here's... I'll just do this one, too. Um... The Sword in the Stone. I think this is another one that I have not seen. And most people don't talk about or even think about that much. Um, I love Disney. And I have never, ever seen The Sword in the Stone. Let's see. Uh, Walt Disney. The Masterpiece Collection. Sorry, it's going to shine a little bit because it's still got the uh, film on it. Now you can own the most celebrated and beloved film collection on video. Inspired by Walt Disney's extraordinary vision. You will want to collect each treasured masterpiece. Family keeps keep cake for every generation. Pure Disney gold. It says that there too. It says it on the back. But this is a nice little sticker uh, from the New York Times. I like that it has an old price tag on it. It's at one point cost twenty dollars by itself, basically. It didn't cost me twenty dollars. So saying. Mmm. So I believe this would have been a re-release. I'm pretty sure this was not the one time that this had been released on VHS. Because the Masterpiece Collection. I mean, don't quote me on that. I could be extremely wrong. I didn't do a ton of research to see when and if they released this before then. Alright. It's a little bit of, uh, it's a little bit warped on the back. You can see this is, yeah. You can see those wrinkles. Plastic is falling, melting a little, probably after 30 years of nobody touching it. I, that's what she said. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't believe I did that. Uh, Brad, think of better jokes. Here we go. We're going to open it up. We got that seal right there. Came right off. Beautiful. Let's see. March home with some of the greatest films ever collected. I guess this is what is advertising the Walt Disney masterpiece collection. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. Look at this. It has a shop along video guide on the back. Use this detachable checklist. Does it come off then? I guess? Not really. I don't know why they say it's detachable. When collecting the best in family entertainment. And amazing. They hit you with it so quickly. I don't know if you guys remember. I'm sure you do because it was a big deal at the time. Walt Disney would circulate their films, so they would not be available to buy at the same time. They would go into the Disney vault. They would do a big release. That's probably what this Peter Pan was at one time. And then would be gone for five, six, seven, eight years. I think like even ten sometimes before you could buy it regularly again. Uh, so let's see. Like They hit you with all of his animated films here. And like you see 101 Dalmatians. And then it says, no longer available. Aladdin, no longer available. Um, uh, in the little asterisk, it has a little asterisk beside these titles. And it says uh, at the bottom next to the asterisk, Disney lo no longer sells these titles. However, they may still be available in some stores. So yeah, you if you found it, congrats. But they are not making new copies of it. And then let's see, the Aristocats. Hurry, available for a limited time. Alice in Wonderland. Currently available, Bambi. Available February 4th, 1997. And there's a few more that are like that. Uh, and it just says, yeah, currently available, no longer available. Uh, hurry, available for a limited time, or coming up, basically. Uh, what was coming up? Hunchback of Notre Dame, Bambi. And I guess that's all they were making for 1997. It's the only ones they say are upcoming. Um, and then... It, there's a few that 
say Pocahontas has the little like cross symbol next to it, the other asterisk, and it says Disney will stop selling them after April 30th, 1997. Wow. Look at that. All right, let's take a look inside this little booklet. Oh, yeah, so it's just advertising the four that I guess are around at the time. Sword in the Stone, Dumbo, currently in theaters. Shout out Tim B. Alice in Wonderland, Robin Hood. Mm. And there's their more live action films. I guess Three Caballeros isn't, but that's a weird movie. Barely a movie, too. Mary Poppins. Bed knobs and broomsticks, Pete's dragon, in so dear to my heart, one of Walt Disney's loveliest films. I don't know if I've ever heard of this movie. One of Disney's most endearing classics, a high-spirited and touching story about the magical power of imagination. Hmm. On the back, it says what's coming to video, Disney's all-new restored edition of Bambi. And I'll say the, that the sort of packaging they show there looks very similar to the Peter Pan packaging down here where it has like uh, what limited, it says limited edition and says the anniversary of it in black right in the middle. So coming to video February 4th, 1997, then it says Disney will stop selling it. March 31st, 1997. So you basically could get it for two months. This like false scarcity that Disney did for the longest time is so interesting. And now you feel like they would never, ever turn down the chance to sell you a product if you wanted to buy it. That's incredible to me. Uh, and coming to video March 4th, 97, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, more than the Aladdin or The Lion King. It is as good for its story and message. As it is for its animation, says the Chicago Sun-Times. Um, I actually have over here, can I pull it out without, uh, here it is, it was right there, handy. I actually have the first copy, not the first edition uh, VHS tape release of The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I actually got it at a thrift store in my hometown when I went home and was just shopping around. And the, the coolest thing about it, oh, you can already see. It had the stuff inside of it. <laughs> so we might go over that some other time or maybe later today if we have time on this video. Because it's already going to be an overwhelmingly long video, let's be honest. So maybe some other time. But that is what they speak of. Let's see what else is in this guy. Here's the tape. Sword in the Stone. And you know, it'll be fun to watch. It's, it's a Disney film I haven't seen before. 79 minutes, one of those Disney movies that's basically barely a movie, you know? And I guess all it has is the little audience survey. I thought there was more in here. Did anything drop out on me? Um, nope. Okay, that's it. Moving on. It's nice when they only have a couple things in there. We can do more in a shorter time. Pocahontas, as referred in that last one. Let's see. First time on video. Limited time availability. And you'll see this later, but I always find this interesting. They would theme these little stickers that went on the packaging to the film itself. So, like, there's this, like, it's you can see the 10 is, like, kind of in the Pocahontas font, and it has, like, the wood around it. It's like, vaguely nature-y. I like this pull quote from the back from Joel Siegel. Disney's done it again. They gone and done it. They done Pocahontas. A movie that, uh, not great. Some of my favorite Disney music. It's weird to me, and I've had this argument with many people, how it's a movie with two I Want songs. Like, Just Around the River Bend and... Colors of the Wind are I Want songs. People disagree with me. They're wrong. But there's, but I also get that if you wrote two I Want songs that 
good, you would just like, we can't take one out. Just fit it in. And they do. And so that first, like, 20 minutes are just amazing. Amazing. And then the rest of the movie is so-so. Christian Bale does the voice of a minor character in this. It's very interesting. Um, it's just one of the uh, pilgrims. Let's see. You can see this also cost $20 at one point from a place called Venture that I've never heard of. It says So this little sticker at the bottom says save up to $10. Uh, $5 refund on your Disney videos. Uh, $5 refund from Nestle. Plus an exclusive lithograph offer from Mattel. And that expired April 30th, 1996. All right, let's pop this bad boy open. How high does the sycamore grow? If you cut it down, no, 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 no. In here, never. All right. Look inside for valuable savings and hot new offerings from Disney. I guess whatever was in there already fell out. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. From Disney, a free issue of a kids' magazine called Family Fun. Send for your free issue, family adventures, activities, celebrations, values, fun. Magazine I've not really ever heard of. I wonder how long it lasted. Here is our mail-in certificate. We could save $5 by mail when we buy two Disney videos. This one, and, um, oh, look, Sword in the Stone's on there, so... Unfortunately, if this didn't become void 22 years ago, I could have saved $5. Pocahontas, experience the wonder of Disney's Pocahontas, Pocahontas toys by Mattel. Here's a look at some of the toys that Mattel made. It looks like a lot of plushies and, to be honest, like Barbie-esque toys. This was definitely seen as like a female skewing film. Oh, and on the back here, they're advertising the lithograph, the exclusive lithograph. Pocahontas lithograph portfolio, only $3.99 with the purchase of any Mattel Pocahontas toy, plus Disney's Pocahontas video. You can get three lithographic art prints as shown, and it looks like it is um, John Smith and Pocahontas, Pocahontas looking through the trees, and the raccoon and the pug. Alright, so you can get a $5 refund from Nestle. Look at all that old candy, y'all. Enjoy that old candy. Oh, and there is a uh, VCR adventure board game with Pocahontas that looked like Nesquik made. Look at that rabbit. <laughs> oh... Let's see what's in here. Yep, there's more. There's a lot more of the Nest Quick Rabbit in here. Look at him. I've not really gotten Nest Quick in a while. Is he around? Ooh, look. The Nest Quick ice cream bars. Mmm. Oh, man. Those are so good. They get that little frozen covering right before you bite into them, and they're nice and soft. Oh, that is good. Oh, the Disney catalog. Have the fun delivered right to your door. I love to buy a catalog and be advertised directly too, and pay for the privilege. Thank you. Let's see. The Disney catalog is packed with merchandise that will make everybody happy. Your family and friends will enjoy our character clothing, Disney toys, and special collectibles for years. Order your free Disney catalog today. Who don't want that poo watch? Yes, I want it. Survey, survey says. A vacation with magical adventures around every river bend. Four days and three nights at Disney World Magic, only $289 for a limited time only. Oh my god, I wish. Because I really have been wanting to go to Disney World recently. Um, I really want to go back. It's been a while. And imagine, if it was $289 per ticket, I could, I'd be going next week. 
I'm poor, and I could probably swing that. In the spirit of Pocahontas, here's an exciting four-day, three-night adventure to the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. Come discover all of the new Disney attractions, including the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror at the Disney MGM Studios, which is not Disney MGM anymore. It's Disney Hollywood Studios, right? I think that's right. The new Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom. And honey, I shrunk the audience at Epcot. Okay. Uh, with prices starting at just $289 per person, based on adult double occupancy, your historic vacation will feature the following. Accommodations for three nights at Disney's all-star resorts uh, are your choice of 13 selected Disney Resort hotels. First time I went to Disney, I stayed at the all-star hotel. <laughs> Four-day unlimited admission to all the theme parks, Disney character breakfast, use of selected Disney recreational facilities, one commemorative Pocahontas package, certificate, and that's it. It's available from April 14th through December 18th, 1996. And you have that nice old school Walt Disney World logo. And here we have um, one of these nice Disney booklets where they advertise a lot of VHS tapes to us. I'll just go through it real quick and see if there's anything interesting. Because there's probably more of these and they take some time to get through. Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Let's see. Aladdin in the King of Thieves. It was very hyped because it was Robin Williams' return to voicing the genie after Dan Castellaneta had done it in the second direct or on the first direct VHS sequel to Aladdin, and did it in the Aladdin TV show, I believe. Dan Castellaneta, Homer Simpson, Grandpa from Hey Arnold, amazing voice artist generally, but Robin Williams, you know, this was his return. That that was definitely a big hype movie at the time. I remember they essentially sold it on Robin Williams coming back to be the genie. Cool. It it seemed to work. Don't miss your last chance to catch the disappearing Disney classics, which is The Lion King and Cinderella. Let's see. These are the movies. Uh, some of the live action movies. Uh, you get Big Green, Homeward Bound. Man, I had the Big Green on VHS tape as a kid, and we just wore it out. It's a terrible movie. Some sing-alongs including a Muppet sing-along, which is pretty cool. That's Muppet Treasure Island sing-along. Timon and Pumbaa's Wild Adventures. I had, I think I had this VHS tape at some point, and I'm not sure what happened to it. But that would be the Timon and Pumbaa cartoon show that uh, aired for a few years and is not very good. I have this on VHS tape. Yes, the best of Roger Rabbit. Oh, basically all the theatrical shorts I made of them after the movie collected into a VHS tape all in one spot. It's good stuff. And more Winnie the Pooh, some sing-alongs, the good, we love, Princess Collection, two new Jasmine volumes, videos starring girls and boys' favorite characters, separated, because how dare, um, and like color-coordinated so we know which are the girls and which are the boys. Uh, Princess Collection, Jasmine. I, I, I don't know what those are. Were those originally original animated movies starring Jasmine or something else? I'd have to look into that. That's interesting. Uh, or maybe episodes of the Aladdin TV show that prominently featured Jasmine? Because that's what these are. These are just tapes of the Aladdin TV show. And you can see Gargoyles down there. Of course, Street Sharks. Uh, two of the better... TMNT, not ripoffs, but emulators of the 90s. <laughs> all right, that is all the stuff in Pocahontas. There's the tape. It's so nice, it fits so snugly in the clamshell. Let's open up another. Oh, if I can get this closed. That's the thing. There's so much stuff in here. Oh, I know. I know what this is for. This thing is supposed to keep all this stuff snug it's like a little well it's a little blanket for it how fun and we are good tarzan now i gotta be honest with you i don't remember this one being advertised in the ebay Auction. Like, obviously, I'm opening it just now. And that's so weird. I'm looking over here because I already have a Tarzan VHS tape right here. I don't need another one. I'll look them 
over, and I guess I'll probably keep the one that's more complete in packaging with the stuff inside of it. Just give the other one to Goodwill. But that's funny. I don't remember this being in the auction. Um, nothing on it other than the price, sixteen forty nine. Tarzan's underrated in my opinion. It's maybe other than like Lion King, my favorite of the Disney Renaissance, even though it's at the very, very end of the Disney Renaissance. I think it's that good. It's got the great, amazing Glenn Clean. Glenn Keane, design of Tarzan. Uh, Glenn Keane also famously liked design the beast. Uh, the bear fight in The Fox and the Hound, I believe that's right. And just overall an amazing animator. Left recently, like semi-recently, after being with the company for, whew, you know, 30, 40 years to work on his own personal material, which is really cool. He's also the son of Bill Keane, who does the family circus, uh, the ridiculously saccharine comic from newspapers that your great-grandparents like. All right, so let's see what's in here. I'm guessing it's actually probably not going to be too much because this would be nearing the end. Not the... They probably... I mean, this is 99-2000. They made VHS tapes for five more years. But they are already moving on. Uh, like, they're putting in bonus features. It says... You get Phil Collins' Trash in the Camp recording session with special guest. I think that's in sync. Exclusive new strangers like me music video and THX certified picture. Who booty? Let's open it up and see what's in here. All right, we do got some stuff. Hey, let's open this for $19 in swinging savings and offers. All right. Oh, I like these little tiny booklets. Which films were voted Disney's most magical movies of the millennium? Oh, they want us to visit Disney videos and click on the Millennium website to find out. I guess we'll never know. A visual mail and certificate saves $10 and swing into action on your Nintendo 64. You get that Tarzan Nintendo 64 video game. It's actually a pretty fun platformer. I recall not a bad tie-in game. Not a amazing game, but... It really, what I recall from that, it's like it does a good job of making you feel like you're Tarzan, like swinging through the vines or surfing on the trees. It was very good at that. You, It's what you watched in the movie and what you could do, and the game does a good job of recreating what you wanted to do. Some uh, PC games of Tarzan. Oh, I loved when their PC games had this sort of like uniform, uh, silvery... Mickey Mouse ear thing going on. I had a couple games like that. Always lovely. Save $3 by mail when you buy the Tarzan soundtrack. Plus, Tarzan on video or DVD. There's the DVD. They're creeping in here. Let's see. Inspector Gadget. Save $1 when you buy Inspector Gadget on video or DVD. I say Matthew Broderick. Doesn't make sense as Inspector Gadget. Not who I would have cast. Save $1 when you buy Annie on video. Now that is a VHS tape we definitely had, and we watched that live. We, I'm referring to me, my mom, and my sister, when it aired for the first time on The Wonderful World of Disney. It's a very good version of Annie, which is not like the best musical, even though people love it, but it's like Victor Garber as Daddy Warbucks, Kathy Bates as Miss Hannigan, uh, Alan Cumming as Rooster, and Kristen Chenoweth as Lily St. Regis. Audra McDonald is Grace. Like, it is so well cast. Those are the people you wish would sing those songs every day. I thought Alan Cumming was so cool. I He was, like, my favorite actor for a while because I thought Rooster was the coolest, and I wanted to play that in Annie someday. I'd still do Rooster someday. It's the best part in Annie. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Save $1 when you buy Inspector Gadget, Gadgets, Greatest Gadgets. That is so many gadgets. That's too many gadgets. Save $1 when you buy an extremely goofy movie on video or DVD. Yeah, that was another VHS tape that got worn out at my house. Oh, I loved an extremely goofy movie. <laughs> it is so, like, corporately mandated. Like, let's make sure that Max is cool now and he's good at skateboarding. Um, and it worked for me. I love that movie. Right, what else is here? 
there's one place, one year, one celebration you'll never forget. Walt Disney World, 2000. But the 2000, the zeros in it are Mickey's ears. And here is an ad celebrating Disney's new channel for animation all day, every day, Toon Disney. Very cool. I remember I was super excited the first time I went to Walt Disney World to uh, stay in the hotel and exclusively watch Toon Disney because we didn't get it on our regular cable. I just wanted to watch because uh, we'd never really been able to watch any of the Disney cartoons before that. I just wanted to watch Tailspin, and uh, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers, DuckTales, that sort of thing. And the only other thing in here is a advertisement for a free hardcover storybook of Tarzan. This offer is only available to purchasers of Disney's Tarzan on video. Free storybooks send for years today. There you go. Nice little picture of everybody involved. Oh, I guess I did get Pooh. I just went on about how I don't like Pooh that much, but I guess I have Pooh's Grand Adventure. The Search for Christopher Robin. Eligible. Eligible. I cannot talk. You can tell I have not talked today. The all-new movie, eligible for free video rewards program, 1997. I think this wasn't a theatrically released film. I believe this was one they did that went straight to VHS. Yeah, yes, that's what it is. I don't know if I'm ever going to watch this, to be completely honest. But hey, let's do it for the vid. Oh, weird enough that Tarzan didn't have the Walt Disney seal of approval or seal of approval it's seal of purchase let's see so this also has a little sweet booklet that keeps all their stuff inside they must have realized that after a couple years that they should put that in there if they're going to stuff so many ads in here free disney free videos with disney's video rewards program it's got those stickers thing i think i've talked about in my last video about these <coughs> excuse me Yep, here's a little booklet. Boom. Mary Poppins. Mm, Sleeping Beauty. Got great character designs, but kind of a boring movie. Jungle Book in that Gold Emboss Peter Pan style. Interesting. Uh, Old Yeller, I won't show that to you so none of us cry. Winnie the Pooh, Boo to You, the Halloween movie. Yeah, and the sing-along song. And also you can buy a cool inflatable chair with the genie and Simba on it. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, yeah, we can get a mail-in rebate for some Oral-B. Look at that. Sesame Street toothpaste. It was that weird jelly stuff. You know, it was probably sparkly and blue or sparkly and red and tasted like garbage. But you wanted it because it was sparkly. Survey. Here is my collector stamp for this video. Let's see, by this point they had stopped with the sticky paper and just turned to regular stickers. Yes. Great. A fixed stamp to corresponding numbered space in your 1997 Disney Rewards program collector card. Oh, maybe we should put it there. Where's that? Where's my collector card? Oh, do I have to, like, mail in to get the collector's card to prove that I'm collecting these? I think I might have. Oh, well. A shame. I guess I will just put it here. There's Pooh and his friends. Mm, now that's trash, but I'll keep it. Because I'm also trash. From Welch's, free set of six exclusive mini- Winnie the Pooh Magnets. By mail, when you buy any two Welch's jams, jellies are spreads. I do remember those with the Pooh scenes on them. Welch's would do that every once in a while. And you, got, you get magnets, you see. Hmm. We never had those for some reason. Buy seven... Oh, save seven dollars by mail when you purchase fifteen dollars or more of any Pooh Tales... Y'all, I have not said one single word correctly in this video. I'm so sorry. 
All right, let's do this again. Save $7 by mail when you purchase $15 or more of any Pooh toys from Mattel. Here we go. Now, the Pooh branding was strong in the 90s. They were really pushing Pooh as, like, the toddler version of Mickey. Like, this is what little kids will like. And, I mean, this this Pooh logo was everywhere. Everywhere. They had so much Pooh merchandise in soft toys for kids, stuff like that. All right. Yep, yeah, I mean, you see more of it here. There's a new way for your child to celebrate friendship all year long. There's nothing more special than the gift of friendship, and no one helps your child feel its special meaning better than Winnie the Pooh. And $10 rebate when you buy any two eligible Disney Interactive CD-ROM titles. There you go. And this is advertising. Print your favorite Disney characters on Avery Kids products. So you could, like, make, you know, birthday invitations with Hercules and Meg on it. How sweet. Where is this thing's house? There they go. Back in there with ye. That's, here's the tape. 70 minutes, 70 minutes long. Even less of a movie than sort of the stone was. Let's move on. Here's another one that I already have a copy of, Toy Story. I mean, you gotta. I will probably give that one away. It's a little beat up and use this one that's still sealed and has the stuff inside. Save up to $25 from Kodak, Disney Videos, General Mills, Oral-B, and Energizer, baby. Let's go, let's go. I'm noticing somehow we I've already talked for 40 minutes straight. Maybe that's why. I'm having trouble creating words at this point because I have talked nonstop for 40 minutes somehow. Let's open Toy Story up, one of the best movies of all time, in your host humble opinion. This, the clamshell is literally like breaking in my hand. That's weird. My other Toy Story is like that. None of the other ones have done that. Did, they, Walt Disney, like, skimp on the clamshell cases for Toy Story specifically because it was, oh my gosh, maybe I'm not going to give that other one up because this one won't open safely without breaking. There we go. There we go. Look inside. All right. We got that Disney catalog. Buy our merch. Save up to $20. See inside for details on great mail-in offers. Yeah. Oh, it's like the center fold. <laughs> Let's go with it. The other tapes that you always see. Is anything interesting? No. Um, here, General Mills. Look at that. Oh, look at those old cereals. Oral B, same stuff. Energizer. Ooh, you, you can get two Toy Story character cups if you bought Ocean Spray. Those cool Woody and Buzz cups. Is everybody excited for Toy Story 4? I'm, you know, cautiously looking forward to it. I think the first three are such a perfect trilogy. I'm not really sure we needed to continue this franchise at all. But... Hopefully they nail it. Celebrate 25 years of Walt Disney World with the Toy Story Vacation. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. That Woody is looking rough. Howdy, partner. <laughs> What's the Toy Story Vacation as opposed to the Pocahontas Vacation? Let's see. Eh, I'm, gonna, I'm looking right now and I'm going to tell you. Looks a lot like the Pocahontas Vacation. <laughs> Um, stay at Disney's All-Star Resort, play at the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, the Disney Image Jam Studios, Pleasure Island, which uh, does not exist anymore, right? I could be wrong. You can receive a commemorative Toy Story gift and get your choice of a special feature. Select from a limited edition 25th anniversary music CD, a character breakfast, and more. Hey, before the character bre breakfast was included... And I believe you got a Pocahontas gift. Now they're like, you gotta pick. You gotta pick. This is where they are transitioning into their new logo. 25 years, they redesigned. I'm sorry, I can't get over that awful Woody character. 
even Buzz isn't looking too great. They hadn't, um, it, like, should have been easier to transition in 3D characters into a 3D world where you could see all around them, but somehow they've done it in the most horrifying way. That's so good. All right. Free Toy Story Strategy Guide when you buy the Toy Story video game on Sega Genesis, Super NES, or PC CD-ROM. Uh, you all know what I'm about to say. Screw this game. Notoriously, one of the hardest platforming games of all time. Uh, it, like, looks good. It looks really impressive for the time it was made in. Uh, having that sort of, like, Donkey Kong-esque 3D slash 2D style. But it's almost impossible to play. You don't know what you're doing. Everything is attacking you. And your character takes up three-fourths of the screen. So your hitbox is huge. It's the worst, unfortunately. Here is the Toy Story uh, booklet guide. What's awesome is it has... I love this, like, cover of it. I wish this was... I wish these were stickers. Uh, let's see. Muppet Treasure Island and James and the Giant Peach. Both good movies. Uh, some movies we've already covered. Uh, Sword in the Stone, Mary Poppins. Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Return of Jafar. Look, literally, okay, Aladdin and the King of Thieves, starring Robin Williams. He's back! Robin Williams returns as genie in the spectacular conclusion to the Aladdin movie trilogy. It literally says starring Robin Williams. Do you know the story about the first Aladdin where he agreed to do it only if they didn't advertise that he was the voice of the genie? And so early promotional materials of the Aladdin, of for Aladdin, you will see he's referred to only as the actor that does, that plays the genie or something like that. And then finally they just were like, screw that. If he's Robin Williams, everybody's going to be able to tell this Robin Williams. So they started saying, hey, it's Robin Williams. And he got mad. And that's why he didn't do the uh, return of Jafar in the Aladdin TV show. Because he's like, you guys broke contract. And so I think they backed up that truck to get him into the last movie. To show me more. All right. Yeah. Some more movies. I did recently pick up A Nightmare Before Christmas as well. Uh, that has the ads in it. It's right over there. And it's got, and again, I think I mentioned before, I don't love that movie. But it has a really cool case. Like, it's the black case instead of the white clamshell case. It looks really aesthetically pleasing. Free Toy Story ornament attached to Disney's holiday video toy shop titles. All right. You can put your child's photo into either of those. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, here's more of those princess videos, but with Belle. Now, I remember the live-action Belle TV show. Uh, yeah, Belle's Sing Me a Story. And then sing-along songs to the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Man, sing-along songs was like its own busy industry that Disney was running in the 90s. And survey card. We'll have to fill one of those out sometime. That is it. Yep, it's so weird that both these clamshells keep falling apart. Oliver and Company. First time on video. If that's true, that's weird, because I don't think this came out till, let's see, this was 96 or 97 when this came out on video, and the film was 89, right? A while ago. That bad guy looks like Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, save up to $15. Refund on Disney videos, refund from Quid Cuisine, Quid Cuisine. Instant savings from Kodak. And yes, this expires in 97. So yeah, it would have been around that time. Wow. So it hadn't ever premiered? I'm sure they must have played it on TV or on ABC or on the Disney Channel at that time. But first time on VHS? It's a while. They would never do that now. Let's see. Boasting five outstanding original songs. The most famous musical talent of any Disney animated feature, including Billy Joel, Bette Midler, and Huey Lewis. Yes. Unmistakably Disney, and still the very best, said Joel Siegel. Let's see what's in here. This, oh, the seal is on the bottom for this one. The Walt Disney Home Video seal. There we go. It's open. 
All right. Survey says, save five dollars. More of the same. Here, quid cuisine. I said it again. Guys, I've been talking for 50 minutes straight. Give me a break. Those still exist. Family fun thing we saw before. Ooh, this is a very short, not a long one. Just advertising the same stuff we've seen. All right, Oliver and Company. Great songs. Not much else to say about that one. Uh, why should I worry? That's pretty much what I got to say about Oliver and Company. But I haven't watched it in a while. It'll be good to watch it and get those songs. Right. Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. One I don't think I've ever actually seen. Uh, straight to VHS sequel to the biggest Disney hit of all time. A worthy successor to the throne of the most successful animated film of all time. Didn't mean to say exactly what Scott Herrick from the Los Angeles Times says, but I did. All right. An all-star cast returns, including Matthew Broderick, Nathan Lane, Ernie Sabella, and Robert Guillaume. I, I'm sorry, that guy. Uh, he's a great actor who plays Rafiki. And, like, I know him. <laughs> All right, let's open up. We can save uh, $5 from Lever 2000 and from Disney. Er, so this is later, right? This is 2000. This would be right around 2000. I've never seen it. Doesn't it have He Lives in You in it, which is from the stage show? And they were like, that is so, that song is so good. I can't believe we did, didn't end up using it in the first movie. We got to get it in the second one. It is. It's uh, an amazing movie. This one's also melting a little bit, you can see. All right, let's get in here. No seal on it. Nope, none at all. All righty. Light up the holidays with great gifts from Disney. You can get Pocahontas 2 or Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, I'm good. Here we can save five dollars by mail in when I buy soap in Lion King Two. I can get a stamps from Welch's and they have their Lion King jams. Here. I can save five dollars when I buy flubber. Oh, oh, you've seen his pride. Now see his world. Here's a terrifying Simba animatronic. Simba and his friends come to life at Disney's newest theme park. Would this be Animal Kingdom? Yes, it's the Festival of the Lion King. Oh, actually, you know what? That's kind of cool. I've seen that. It's not that bad. It's wild. Well, excuse me. Rates starting at just $74 per night during the value season? Oh my gosh, it's so more expensive now. Oh, this is fun. Uh, McDonald's Happy Meal. Uh, advertising Simba's Pride toys. I think I remember those. And on the flip side, there were Bugs Life toys. And that's so interesting. So this was 98 is what I'm seeing. Um, advertising exactly when these would be in McDonald's is so cool because at the time I just vaguely knew they were there for like a month but that it says the exact days yeah the Bugs Life were from November 27th to 24th of December so Thanksgiving to Crimbus here's fun this rocks if it's fun it must be TDIF and we could watch two of a kind the Olsen twins are back on NBC, ABC, sorry. <laughs> Boy Meets World, Sabrina, and new, something called Brothers Keeper, a show I have never heard of. Um, looks like they've got a kid and maybe they're brothers. Uh, on the flip side is an ad for One Saturday Morning, which is great. Oh, I talked earlier, way earlier, about how I'm trying to buy more VHS tapes that have been um, ripped from TV or like filmed from TV. I have one of Fox Kids. It's so good. I really, really want to find one of One Saturday Morning. That intro video for that block of time was so cool. Here is a similar ornament set to the Porcelain Pooh one, but it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I actually think those are kind of cute. I could get into that. 
and write so that everything in here. Yes, they're not doing those big booklets anymore later in time. Do we miss anything good? Nope. Alright, I'll probably watch this. I've never watched it, actually. And I know a lot of people do like it. And this is a pretty cool one, I think. <laughs> Disney's masterpiece, The Black Cauldron. Maybe one of their least financially successful films of all time. Uh, very famously dark, not a musical, based off mature like children's books that have a lot of death and violence in it um and just completely sort of antithetical to whatever they had been doing before and they went out and they tried something new and everybody said we don't like it so they almost went out of business animation wise after this we're like maybe we just don't make animated films anymore um but quickly kind of veered back into the disney renaissance uh, the transitional of like the rescue rescuers down under and the great mouse detective and then to little mermaid and they were back on track kind of wild um but this i guess this was so financially unsuccessful this is the first time that they had released it on vhs and um, let's see collectible crony chromium fx packaging while supplies last and i don't know if you can really tell because uh the film is on it well, i'll show you later but it is like shiny in a different way than the other stuff was shiny. Uh, we could save $4 from Disney online. Let's get this open. Let's get this open. I want to see it and maybe try to keep this video under an hour. It's going to be it's going to be kind of close. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. The shininess. Yeah, you can see how he like shines on it. The light keeps catching it. It's so shiny. So is the back. Ooh. There we go. All right, we can do this. Get a free CD-ROM loaded with fun in games from Disney Blast Online. I think there was a video last time we did that was advertising Disney Blast Online. No idea what it was. I guess it was their sort of like youth website before they had just regular Disney. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. Oh, my gosh, look. Penguins, like before Club Penguins Online. Did Disney own Club Penguin? And let's see, say four dollars by mail, and you buy two videos: Black Cauldron and Mary Poppins or James and the Giant Peach, and that's it. So they gave this a fancy cover, but they were like, mm, "We're just putting it out there." That is what maybe the smallest amount of stuff we've seen, the barest minimum. They were not expecting people to uh, expecting people to buy this. They weren't doing this to, like, engage people. They are like, we gotta, it's in there, it's it's in our vault for no reason, see if somebody wants to buy it, but we're not going to spend extra money putting a lot of stuff in there. And I think that's exactly what that is. So, <laughs> sorry, ended on kind of a bum one. I was excited because you don't see this a lot. <laughs> I have to show it off to you guys, but it's, they didn't care. They didn't care. Oh, this, this is really cool. It's like ribbed. You know? You hear that? Yeah, it's neat. Wait, maybe I can take it out, actually, and show you. Oh. Hmm. Oh, the inside's like actual. Completely chrome. You can see it. That's even better. You can see it. Wild. So, yeah, it's not coming out as easily as a paper one does, I guess, because it's... Well, probably because it's been still sealed for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody. You can see the rest of my house. And it's like, yeah, textured a little bit. All right, that's it. I have more stuff planned, and I'll be doing videos more because I have time in a nice place to do it. Uh, it won't always be VHS tapes. I have some other stuff I want to talk about. Uh, bye, guys. Ooh, love ya. <laughs>